Well, hopefully the next time I see you, we'll be able to tell you that we rose, raised $400,000. And, and again, I thank all the volunteers that have helped us and uh, the many, many people in the curling uh, community because it is a fantastic community. Curling now enters the Sports Weekend Spotlight. It is time for In the House, and it's probably our favorite segment on the show because this has always been about the fans. Mm -hmm. It's because of you that we're here doing this show, guiding you through the Olympic trials. And this is a, an incredible, powerful story mm -hmm. and interview we're about to do. Colin. And we had heard it in the mayor. I heard it back in Nova Scotia, what was going on at the Fredericton Curling Club, this trying to get into the Guinness Book of World Records. And I thought, how long are they going to curl? Well, how long did they curl for? We're, let's go to our guests because it's a long time. It's, it's a long time. <laughs> We're going to invite to the show, into that curling show, Stephen Burns. Stephen, it's wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for being on that curling show with Colleen and I. How many hours was it? <laughs> yeah. And congratulations because it sounds like you set a new Guinness record. We curled for 100. Thank you for having me on. Uh, we curled for 120 hours now. We're not official yet. We still have to get confirmed by Guinness. But uh, that could take a couple of weeks, but uh, it looks very promising. We did, like I said, 100, uh, just over 120 hours. Amazing. That's what a lot of was curling. behind it? Tell us the story of how this evolved. Well, as uh, I'm only been curling for about a year and a half, and uh, last year we were sitting at the curling club after a game and and re there was a world record that was set uh i don't think it was official but it was set from the capital winter club in 1982 and we thought what a great idea to bring that back to the club and uh we also thought if we're going to do this we might as well do it for a great cause so we uh we looked at kind of some of the challenges that are in a lot of communities today and one of them being youth mental health so we uh set out to do 120 hours and raise $120,000. And uh, as of today, we're at around 210. So people obviously uh, thought it was a great idea. Stephen, uh, Colleen and I often on this show talk about vulnerability. Um, and I know how personal this has been to you. I, I don't know if you're and how much you're willing to share, um, but this is deeply personal, like I said, and, and I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about your journey uh, with your family. Sure. Uh, some people would know this from, from my name, but uh, unfortunately, my wife was uh, one of the police officers that was killed uh, in the line of duty in 2018, and uh, I have three young boys. And... Uh, I see this on a daily basis with uh, mental health and uh, things that they've gone through that I've gone through um, since that's all happened. And uh, that's where it really resonated for me and, and the people that uh, I did it with, the other 10 people, the other nine people, they all have kids and they all um, know what the struggles that, you know, they see on a daily basis. It's not, not the same as when I grew up, you know, you got social media now you have COVID. There's so many things that these kids are going through and we just thought if we could uh, do something to make a difference that, uh, you know, it, maybe it, we could make an impact. And I think, think we've done that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Colleen, I know you and I were talking about this uh, coming here to the rink and knowing that we were going to be talking to Stephen and we were just blown away at, at what Stephen's done, what mm -hmm. the community has done. Mm. I'm wondering, Stephen, uh, you, I, I, it sounds like you're looking for more donations. How can people help? How can people get involved? Sure. Uh, the big thing is that when we finished on Saturday at around 9 a.m. in the morning, we had uh, a donor come to us. Uh, J the J.T. Clark Family Foundation is a local uh, philanthropist philanthropist and they wanted to donate $50,000, but they gave us a challenge. They said they would give us that $50,000 if we would hit 300,000 in, in donations. So that's where we're at right now. My, uh, my wife, my late wife's fund, there's a, it's called the Sarah Burns forever fund also will match that $50,000. So if we can get to $300,000, then we will actually raise $400,000 for youth mental health. And, uh, we're really 
you know, it's a big task. We've got a lot of work to do, but we've got some events coming up, but there's an event next weekend where we're going to do a marathon curling event for the public, basically get people to see what it was like for us to do it for the 120 hours, but on a mini version. And uh, if anybody wants to, uh, to donate, they can go to cwccares.ca. Uh, all the information is on there. We'd love to have some teams from out of province come and, and take part in that. So I know there's lots of curling fans, obviously, around the Atlantic provinces and, and elsewhere. And uh, we're just uh, we're thrilled to see the, the support that we've seen. You know, all of the, the 10 members of the team are, are grateful to see the support. I, I seem to be the one that always does the talking, but there's there's nine other people that have done a fantastic job in, in uh, pulling this together. Wow. What a difference you're making in the lives of uh, so many people. It is now always nice to see the way the curling club and at the Fredericton Curling Club and curlers throughout New Brunswick have come and rallied around this and hopefully curlers across the country too. But um, amazing how you've taken this and turned it into such a positive and trying to help other people. Mm. So thank you. Yeah, thank you, Stephen. Well, thank you for having me on. I, I've uh, unfortunately haven't been able to watch a whole lot of the trials. I'm, I'm hoping to catch a little bit of it tonight. It's uh, we've been so busy trying to get this to the next number that uh, I haven't really had a chance to watch a lot of curling, but I'm hoping to. Well, Stephen, uh, Colleen, and I will keep you updated. Up to date. Right? Just or, follow right on Twitter. Just, just or follow actually, you can watch this on YouTube. On <laughs> absolutely. Uh, but Stephen, we're just so grateful for you being here and for yeah. the work you're doing. Um, mm -hmm. And absolutely, keep us posted yeah. on on that tally uh, and all the great work you're doing. You're always welcome to come on that curling show, and we appreciate you so much. Well, hopefully, the next time I see you, we'll be able to tell you that we rose, ra raised $400,000. And, and again, I thank all the volunteers that have helped us and uh, the many, many people in the curling uh, community because it is a fantastic community. Outstanding. Uh, thanks yeah. for being here, Stephen. Thank All you. our best. And uh, like like we said, stay right here on that curling show. We got you covered. Mm -hmm. you have a good evening and enjoy the curling. Thanks, guys.